Hello, welcome to Erwin Singh Academy and we are discussing uh, now sequence and series. Uh, chapters um, from the exercise has been completed. Now it's time to discuss some more questions from miscellaneous exercise. So miscellaneous uh, questions are there and miscellaneous exercise um, basis on chapter 9. Let us discuss this miscellaneous. exercise right now miscellaneous exercise so that the very first question is there so that the sum of the sum of m plus nth term and m minus nth term of ap of an AP is twice is equal to twice equal to twice the mth term is equal to twice the mth term how to deal with this question so to deal with this question uh, for solution I can write here solutions started from let a be the first term a be the first term and d be the common difference and d be common difference common difference of a so sum of s m plus nth term of an a and sum of m plus nth and m plus nth term sum of mth term and m plus nth term so we have we can write here like uh, m plus nth term d m plus nth term is a plus m plus n minus 1 into d d m minus nth term is a plus m minus n minus 1 into d and mth term is nothing else but a plus or adding these two let us write here adding these two therefore sum of m plus nth term plus m minus nth term is equal to a plus a is 2a plus m plus n minus 1 plus m minus n minus 1 into d d is common from these two and that is equal to 2a plus n is positive n is negative cancel that will be m plus m is 2m minus 2 into d that is 2 times of we can take 2 common a plus m minus 1 into d and this is nothing else but mth term so twice of mth term this is the proof so this was the first question and I hope you got it you understood it how to deal with this first question now the second question is second question is given that if the sum of three numbers of an AP is 24 if the sum of three numbers of an AP three numbers of an AP is 24 24 and their product is 440 and their product is 440 product is 440 find the numbers find the numbers right so what will happen so for a solution you can write it like let three numbers of an AP are three numbers of an AP are say alpha minus beta alpha and alpha plus beta what is common difference with common difference d common difference what is common difference d d means beta here common difference is beta as per the question sum of three numbers is 24 so according to question according to question we can write alpha minus beta plus alpha plus alpha plus beta is 24 beta beta cancel 
3 alpha is equal to 24 and therefore alpha is equal to 8. Now numbers are alpha is equal to 8 and 8 minus beta 8 and 8 plus alpha. Also their product is also their product is 440 alpha minus beta alpha and alpha plus beta is equal to 440 it is given so we can put here <coughs> 8 minus beta into 8 into 8 plus beta is equal to 440 8 can cancel this 8 5 is 40 and 8 5 is 40 again so 45 a minus b a plus b is a square minus b square that is 55 so beta square is equal to 64 minus 55 is 9 and therefore beta is equal to plus minus 3 hence putting the value of beta and alpha we get and therefore numbers are numbers are if you will take beta then 8 minus 3 is 5 8 and 11 or if you take beta is minus 3 then it will be 11 8 and 5 that will be answer so i hope you got it <coughs> the next question uh, from this category is question number 4 and question number 4 what is this question number 4 so question number third first Question number third is there. So let us solve question number third. And in question number third, it is given that let the sum of n, 2n, and 3n, sum of n, 2n, and 3n terms of an AP, terms of an AP be S1, S2, and S3 respectively. S1, S2 and S3 respectively respectively right so that so that S3 is equal to 3 times of S2 minus S1 that you have to prove here so let A be the first term solution can be written as let a be the first term and r be the d be the common difference and d be the common difference common difference okay so what will happen a be the first term and d be the common difference so that will be s1 is equal to s1 is equal to sum of n terms so n by 2 2a plus n minus 1 into d similarly s2 is equal to n by 2 2n by 2 and 2a plus 2n minus 1 into d this will be here 2 to cancel and so it will be n into <coughs> 2a plus 2n minus 1 into d that will be s2 okay and s3 is equal to and S3 is equal to sum of first three n terms. S3 is equal to 3n by 2 into 2a plus 3n minus 1 into d. This is what given. Now RHS 3 times of S2 minus S1. Now it is given that RHS is 3 times of S2 minus S1 will lead to S2 is what? S2 is n into 2a plus n into 2a plus 2n minus 1 into d this is what s2 and s1 is and s1 is nothing else but n by 2 and 2a plus n minus 1 into d okay so we can go ahead with this that three times of n can be taken common so n i have taken common from these two what we left here 2a plus 2n minus 1 into d and what is left here minus n i have taken common so what is left that is 2 2 can multiply there and this will be 
uh, a minus n minus 1 by 2 into d that is left. So because here 2a by 2 is a. So finally this will remain 2a minus a is a and d can be taken common. So what is left 3 times of n 2a minus a is a plus 2n minus 1 minus n minus 1 by 2 into d and that will be 3n into let me write here that will be 3n you have 3n right and that will be a plus 2 to the 4n minus n 3n and that is 2 when you 2 and minus minus plus it will be plus so minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 into d by 2 and that will be 3n into 2a plus 3n minus 1 into d whole divided by 2 so that will be 3n by 2 into 2a plus 3n minus 1 into d and this is nothing else but s3 this is the lhs and that is proof so lhs this one is lhs proof i hope you got it okay now the next question is here and the question is next question from next page question number four and question number four is given find the sum of all numbers between 200 and 400 uh, which is divisible by 7. Find the sum of all numbers all numbers between 200 to 400 200 to 400 which are divisible by which are divisible by which are divisible by what? 7 right which are divisible by 7 so so for solution we can have solution can be written as 200 uh, you can divide it to 7 jar, 7 to jar 14 6 will left and 7 9 jar 63 so there would be 203 will be the first number here 203 will be first number 210 will be second number 217 will be first number and if you want to find what will be the last number you need to divide by 7 7 5 are 35 and 5 is left so this will be uh, 7 7 are 49 so it means uh, one less than 400 that is 399 will be the last number which you have to calculate find the sum of all this so according to question the required sum will be required sum required sum will be 203 plus 210 plus 217 up to 399 here the first term is here here the first term is 203 a is 203 d is 7 and L is 399 but we don't know how many terms are there so we can calculate here n is equal to L is tn and tn is nothing else but a plus n minus 1 into d so here you can write it 399 is equal to 203 plus n minus 1 into what is the common difference 7 so if you subtract this it will be 6 and that will be 9 minus 0 is 9 and 3 minus 2 is 196 is equal to n minus 1 into 7. 7 can cancel this how many times? 7 to the 14 and 7 8 to the 56. So n must be equal to 29. Minus 1 will come this side. It will be 29. Now sum of n terms. So required sum will be a required sum will be n by 2 a plus l that is 29 by 2 first term is 203 last term is 399 so we can have n by 2 into that will be 29 
uh, you have here 29 by 2 into 602. 602. So if you cancel this, this will be 301. 301 into 29, 21, 9 when are 29 and 29, 3 are 87. So 8729 will be answer of this question. I hope you got it right now. So now let us deal with the next question. And the next question is question number 5. And question number 5 is there. Five. Find the sum. Find the sum of all integers from 1 to 100 that are divisible by 2 or 5. Find the sum of all integers between 1 to 100, 1 to 100, which are divisible by divisible by 2 or 5 right now find the sum of all integers between 1 to 100 which are divisible by 2 or 5 so how to deal with this solution this is a tricky one because uh, we can have a number like divisible by 2 so that would be 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 up to 100 between 1 to 100 so 100 is not included now uh, this is a divisible by 2 plus divisible by 5 can be 5 plus 10 plus 15 plus 20 like this up to 95 100 is not included right now between 1 to 100 it is given that between 1 to 100 from 1 to 100 it is given sorry so we can take here it is given integer from 1 to 100 from 1 to 100 it means 1 is also taken and 100 will be also taken so we can do this 2 to 100 and uh, then plus 5 plus 10 plus 15 like this up to 100 but in that way you will find that 100 is calculated here and 100 is calculated there also 10 will come from this one and 10 will come from that one also so multiple of 2 and 5 will come twice that is 2 and 5 that is 10 will come 20 will come in both 30 will come in both up to 100 will come in both of them so the required sum is obtained as this is the required sum the required sum is given by sum is equal to this and that will be what sum of this is 50 natural number you know 50 even natural number so 50 by 2 first term plus last term you can take it multiple of 5 is 20 numbers so 20 numbers 20 by 2 a by 2 n by 2 because 20 number of terms and first term plus last term is again 105 100 plus 5 that is 105 okay and uh, now a uh, multiple of 10 is 10 numbers of multiple of 10 so n by 2 n is 10 first term plus last term again so that can be calculated as 50 by 2 is 25 into 102 plus 10 into 105 minus 5 into 110 that is 2550 plus 1050 minus 550 550 so total will be 3050 and that will be answer of this question so i hope you got it okay now the next one is question number here question number six and question number six is there that is find the sum of all two digit numbers find the sum of all two digit numbers two digit numbers numbers find the sum of all two digit numbers which are divisible by four and in one as remainder which are divisible by four by four and l one as remainder remainder right now remainder so that will be the uh, solutions or questions of this solution can be obtained 
that number must be multiple of 4 that is in form of 4n plus 1 is form of number of 2 digits 2 digits so if I put n is equal to 1 that will be 5 but not 2 digit number 2 then 4 2 is 8 plus 1 that is 9 it is not 2 digit number so it will start from 3 4 3 is 12 plus 1 13 so hence the required numbers are numbers are numbers are 13 13 17 21 like this up to 24 4 is 96 plus 1 97 so it will start from 3 to 24 right now 3 to 24 that is 22 numbers so easily you can find the number of terms in the sequence will be 22 but even if you are not able to do that directly then you can use the term tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d and in this case you will write 97 is equal to 13 plus n minus 1 into 4 so 13 can come here this side and it will be subtracted so what will be that 84 is equal to n minus 1 into 4 4 cancel this 21 times so n is equal to 22 you can calculate like this also now required sum will be therefore a required sum a required sum will be 22 n by 2 2 a a is 13 plus n minus 1 that is 22 minus 1 into what is d d is 4 so you can calculate like this using the formula 22 into minus 1 that is 21 into 4 so what will be that that will be 11 into 26 plus 84 26 plus 84 is 110 multiply by 11 is 1 2 1 0 and that will be answer of this question so i hope you got it right now let us solve question number seven and what is that question number seven let me try this question number seven is given here that uh, if f be a function if f be a function satisfying 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 f of x plus y is equal to fx into fy right for all xy for all xy belong to natural number such that such that f of 1 is equal to 3 and sigma x is equal to 1 to n fx is equal to 120 right find the value of n find the value of n, n. right this is the question so fx plus y is equal to fx into fy f1 is equal to 3 is given right it means this is nothing else but f1 f2 f3 up to fn so we have to first calculate value of f2 f2 is can be written as f1 into f1 plus 1 right now f1 plus 1 and therefore this can be written as f1 into f1 and f1 is given 3 so 3 into 3 that is 3 square why because in definition it is given that fx plus y is equal to fx into fy right so that is why i have written 2 can be written as this similarly f3 can be written as f of 2 plus 1 that is f of 2 into f1 1 that is f of 2 is nothing else but 3 a square and f and 1 is 3 so that will be 3 q so f2 is 3 a square f3 is 3 q similarly f4 will be similarly f4 will be can be written as f3 plus 1 that is f3 into f1 f3 is 3 q into 3 that will be 3 to the power 4 
etc. that will come. Now sigma f1 is here sigma 1 to n sigma fx is 120 and 1 to n is what will come that is f of 1 to x is equal to 1 to n is nothing else but sum of in terms of series and f1 f2 f3 f4 like this f1 plus f2 plus f3 up to f of n that is 120 so that will be 3 plus 3 square plus 3 q this is nothing else but 3 plus 3 square plus 3 q up to 3 to the power n isn't it and that is 121 so here it will be 3 into 3 to the power n minus 1 upon 3 minus 1 2 is equal to 120 this is 40 you know 40 to the 80 80 plus 181 so n is equal to 4 and that will be answer of this question so i hope you got it how to deal with this question and how to solve this right so the different type of questions are there and we will are taking a short break and thereafter we will discuss the rest of the question of the different type till then keep watching and god bless thank you thank you very much